Today, I want to expose footsteps. I think it's about time that they're exposed for who they are. There are a lot of rumors about them, and those rumors are true. Yeah, um, they've been trying to hide till now about the truth that really goes on at footsteps, and, and they've denied everything. It's time to expose them. You hear that, footsteps? We're coming out. Okay, so when you initially become a member oh, of Oh yeah, footsteps, you have to say that one. Yeah, I mean, this is how it starts. This is a sample of what they do. So in order to test if you're really, like, not Jewish anymore, they, they serve you a plate of bacon and a cheeseburger and some oyster at the side. And they do this so often that they even have a deal with McDonald's. Like, they give them a special for their cheeseburgers. And then if you don't eat this, then you can become a member. But they, the only exception they do is if someone is a strict vegan and then they can't eat meat for vegan purposes, not for kosher purposes, then they, the second best option is to uh, take a selfie eating on Yom Kippur, which is the holiest day of the year when you're supposed to fast. And no matter what you eat, as long as you eat, uh, you, you take a selfie and you prove the date that it was taken on your keeper, and then th these two options, otherwise you're not accepted as a member. Oh my god, I, I heard something similar, and now that I hear this from you, the one that I heard makes sense. Like, they completely destroy your value and ethic system, they, they try to ruin you, they try to make you such a goy, um, such, they try to make you non-Jewish. As a matter of fact, um, when you fill out the application at Footsteps, um, you know, when you have to check which religion you are, the only option is Atheist. You can only check Atheist. There are no other options? No, they even make you, um, they even make you, they, they have, in the next option, which religion are you, Jew or non-Jew, you have to check the non-Jew box. In order, I mean, to, in order to get it accepted. It sounds ludicrous, but it's sad to It gets worse. It gets worse. They, um, the final step, after you've eaten all the treif, all the non-kosher, and um, you know, after you've declared I'm not Jewish and I'm an atheist, you have to throw a Torah, you have to throw a Chumash, a Bible on the floor and step on it. Like, wow. that, it's like cold type That's of stuff. That's offensive even for an atheist yeah. to do. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And also they recruit people, they, they don't just do this if you come to them, like they will go get you. They're like dangerous. missionary? Yeah. They, They'll go to, like, I've received strange visitors, emails, messages, it's, they, they pretend, oh like, my. that they're religious and they have these spies, it's pretty scary stuff. Wow, that, that sounds like missionaries into a cult, almost. Um, have you heard anything else? I, mean, I, okay, this one, now that we're sharing so much about it, I'm, I'm starting to think that a lot of things I've heard are true. The, the, you know, every summer they go on a camping trip. Um, oh, you're gonna, they're fun. gonna like, they're not gonna like this being exposed, okay? Um, I hope nobody comes for me. <laughs> what no, 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 I have to share this. You're laughing, but I have so to share innocent. this. Okay. So, the camping trip, this is where, this is where, um, all the things that you've heard come true. You know, the whole sex, drugs, and rock and roll thing. It's terrible. I'm having a hard time talking about it. And, and on the camping trip, the whole sex, drugs, and rock and roll thing really does come true. Um, they have like different cabins. It's funny. It's like bungalows, like how we grew up. And first of all, it's like a nudist colony. Have you ever heard of that? Google it. Um, you have to leave your clothing outside. In every bungalow and in every cabin, there's like different stuff going on. Like terrible things go down. Like, it's an abomination. I, I don't want to. I don't want to put even out elaborate. details, but it's like. Yeah, it's just too it's inappropriate. Like, yeah. To list. Yeah, and people are. Everybody is high, and it's it's. Oh right, I heard that they give them drugs to like provoke them to do these things. Yeah. They give them all types of, like they shoot up Molly they make... and they swallow heroin. Yeah, they, they snort marijuanas. Yeah, nothing is worse than Mary Joanna. They also control what you wear. You could only join events if you're wearing pants or a miniskirt. Like just like in the religious places, they make you change if you're dressed inappropriately. So even if you wear a skirt it has to be above your thigh and or pants one of the two oh you have to really like you can't look jewish in any way you have to completely be stripped of any resemblance of Jew, Jew, wow. jewish wow i that's crazy forgot like for men like when i go there like i went once or twice to like find out what's going on they made me um like take my take my kippah my yarmulke off my couple and you know like how, how at the western wall at the koisel they have 
you know, it's a very Jewish place, so they have a box of yarmulkes, of kippahs, that if you're a guy and you go, you have to put it on. So Footsteps has the opposite. They have this box where you have to leave your kippah outside, your yarmulke. It, it like, it blew my mind. People it need to know this. sounds unbelievable as it is. Fake news. So now we'll start with the real, real news. What Footsteps really does and what they don't do and no jokes this time. This is true. We are both Footsteps members and for years. And this is what Footsteps actually does. If you hear anything other than this, it's it's not it's true. It's a myth. I'll start with the, with the kosher thing. Yeah. They've no never <laughs> ever served re real treif, re real non-kosher, real treif meat, ever. No bacon or pork, no, no seafood, nothing. It's not necessarily kosher, like kosher, but they never serve outright like the most like, forbidden like, types of yes. non-kosher like the samples like the bacon they but that's just for the people that eat non-kosher yeah that's for the people that don't care mm -hmm. on top of that at every event they have an uh, option of kosher food they have entire tables full of kosher food for people who keep kosher it's legit catered to kosher okay and what about the other points the, the other one was they, they try to ruin you, like your soul and everything. Yeah. And, and, you know, influence your belief and value system. Nonsense. Go to Footsteps' website. Their motto is your life, your journey, your choice. Footsteps' job is to let you flourish however you want. You want to be religious? Be religious. You want to be less religious? Be less. Whatever you want to it's do. It's the freedom to choose. The freedom whatever to choose. Whatever you want to choose. Yes. I even know I'm an, of a... Of a a time when someone applied and they had an interview and the person who interviewed them suggested that they actually join a similar kind of resource but in a firm oh, yeah, version. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an organization yeah, like that exists. They, they felt that this person was too religious and might be uncomf uncomfortable so they didn't want to yeah. uh, like and not and corrupt her. Yeah, in <laughs> other words, corrupt, it's it's for the best of it's for the best of the client. What's best for the client? Yeah. Not, not no agenda. Yeah. Um, they don't badmouth Judaism. They're not anti-Judaism. In fact, most members um, claim and complain yeah. that they are too Jewish. Yeah. Okay? For example, with Shabbat laws at the camping trip. <laughs> yeah. They make they, meals. They, they, they have... do. The, how do we explain the Arab? They they even one year provided an Arab, which is yeah. some string you attach, so people should be allowed to it's, carry. It, they basically and they went over the top yeah. in order to uh, to accommodate, accommodate people that are religious. Yeah. Um, this is what they really do. They are there for you. Legal aid, financial advising. Um, if you need mental health help, they have social workers, they have group therapy, they have workshops on every topic imaginable. Education-wise, especially, oh, that's their it. specialty. They have scholarships for footsteppers, and they will encourage you to get your GED and then to start college, to get through it. They gave me the push to start. I knew I wanted to do it, but I just couldn't collect myself to get into it. And uh, one of the senior staff members... Uh, help me with that I'm yeah grateful for that yeah you're not the only one you know um i wouldn't be here where, where i am educationally without footsteps ever um they have their own scholarship they also provide you with an outside scholarship <laughs> um they have the fellowship in the summer oh my god i did that one and it really changed everything for oh, me i did it as well it's, yeah. a, it's an, inter an internship basically that normally you wouldn't get paid but they give you the they pay for right? unpaid internship plus they have workshops and they take you places they they yeah. connect you with mentors like how to budget and how to time management important things mm -hmm. that are good to know for anyone so in <clears throat> they give you a sense of community as well they provide events camping trips um you know winter parties you know we celebrate people's achievements when they graduate in a nutshell they they are here for you emotionally um you know mentally mentally morally, morally socially and and in any way they can possibly do with them they all are passionate about their jobs all and, of them and, and none of the events or workshops are mandatory if you feel uncomfortable about anything nothing is nothing forced is on forced you forced ever ever <laughs> you could be who you are you could dress how you were about i don't know what percentage but at some events a quarter of the people still look full-fledged chassidish yeah and uh, nobody makes fun of them or makes them feel judged Footsteps is a very necessary organization to exist. Without Footsteps, I would never have had a high school diploma, let alone a bachelor's degree. Without Footsteps, I'd still struggle mentally and with substance Saves. abuse issues. Footsteps, Footsteps saves, saves lives. lives. 
How do I know this? Because they saved mine. Research them. Google it. Okay. It's a non-profit organization. Have, yeah, we're them. not being paid to, no. to recruit this them. Is, this is gratitude the, the for support Footsteps. Is, the extra support is always appreciated. Yeah. So if you want to either help Footsteps as an outsider or if you could use their services yourself, just mm -hmm. check, check the website. What yeah. is it again? For it's footstepsorg.org. Foot and if you are thinking of reaching out to Footsteps, if you're in a closet or you need help, do it. Do it. It changed our lives. Don't be afraid. Don't believe any of the myths they tell you in the community. Follow our footsteps and join, join footsteps. footsteps.